Well, hello, Jelly Rocks here. So we're checking out Satisfactory 1.0 today. This is now launched. We uh, checked it out the other week, but I just wanted to dive onto this one now so that I'm on, you know, the latest, the you know, the latest version of the game. So that when updates come out and that we can just dive in and update them easy peasy. So this is actually the same as the latest experimental branch. So I can't, I think I had early access branch last time so i don't know if i'm going to notice anything different because it says they are the same and there's loads of new features and uh, we can see those in the patch notes which we can click here this is probably going to open a pop-up that you won't see and it'll annoy me okay like i said that has opened it in a separate thing to annoy me um big patch notes um i'll try and include most of them into the notes one thing they dropped which they've not mentioned but they have in the patch notes is Portals. Portals can be used by pioneers to allow near instant travel between factories, but space time travel does come with a cost, named in the form of singularity cells and massive amounts of power. Okay, wow, I'll try and put a picture in of that. Right, so I'm going to do a new game. I did the grass fields last time, so I want to try the rocky desert. It does say this is near the water, and I don't remember this at all. Now, we are going to do Sherl's World 1.0. I did do skip intro, it skipped too much, so uh, yeah, we're going to have to play through the initial stuff, but I do think this would be a good little series, and we are going to confirm, and here we go. So if you've not seen the intro, I'm going to cut that out, It's we, we crash to the planet in a pod, and then we get started, so we'll, we'll soon be in, on the floor in a second. Okay, so here's first look at the planets as we settle down. Descending towards the ground now. Boom. <coughs> now one thing the intro showed then, which I don't remember, was the initial tutorial. There was a glitch in the program, the automated like video that came up, which looked like a purple glitch, like there was something in the system, which I don't remember previously. So was is that new? Let me know in the comments. I don't remember that. You are the third in your region to survive planet fall. The third? Okay, so we're going to do the tutorials for this. You can see I am near water, apparently. Loading objective based introduction. Begin onboarding. It's very, very deserty. Okay, so we're going to equip our zapper, which is this thing, so you just drag it into your hand. And go zap, 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 zap. Right, we're going to dismantle this as well. So press F, hold down. Nice. Next objective, dismantle the drop pod. Right. So we're going to scan for resources so so soon. You, get some, you, can, you can collect some stuff though, look. Can't zap that. Often referred to as the hub. Ooh, what's that? Can I zap it? No. Right, so we're going to look for resources first Next of all. So we're looking for use iron ore. To find so hold down V, highlight it, to build the hub. and then ping. If you cannot find iron, be assured scans of the right. planet you see have distance at the top middle. Iron sources. Oh, there's a f quite a few places where I could go. I'm going to try and see if I can get a little bit... Oh, we can manually collect wood as well. Nice. Big beasties there. They don't seem hostile. I think the... the oh, what's these? These, these are... Um, I think they're like wasps. Yeah, they, yeah they're yeah, not They're not very friendly. Let's see if we can... Uh... Oh, dear. Can I zap the pod? I can't remember if I can or not. Yeah, I've zapped it. Can I pick that up? I want to see what that is. That's what I was interested in. What's that? It is unclear where on the flora or fauna spectrum. I'm not lies. sure what that is. Initial data suggests this might be a nest or an egg. Okay, that looked important. For later study. Oh, that looked good, didn't it? That when I said about the intro, it was like a purple stuff, and that looked very much like the same sort of um, color of that. Okay, I'm meant to be looking for iron ore. I've, I don't have a clue where the, where the ocean is, and I wanted to build near the ocean. Um, okay, there's quite a lot of resources this way. Not so much this way. We'll, we'll go this way. 
standard shift and um, directions to run. So we're just going to run over this way. What is that? Um, the site. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I definitely don't remember this biome now. So you can collect all this. I think eventually wood and stuff like that you can use for like biofuel. Uh, um, uh, there's another thing there. I've not got a huge amount of health though. Right, anyway. There's an iron node here. If we press... Okay, it's... It's, oh, it's coming again. I'm going to have to clear this out. Right, let's, let's Leroy it. There we go. Did we get it all? Okay, now we can start mining. Now, what's this one? Is that iron as well? Yeah, it is. Looks a little bit different. So, there's two iron nodes here. So, if I press E, we can start digging it out. You can see, bottom left, you can see where I'm getting it. So we're going to build a hub now. I'm going to collect, I think we can mine this bit. And we get more out of it. This little bit here, I think it shatters if we mine enough. There we go. Lovely. Right, press Q. I'm going to build our little hub. A hub is essentially your like main base, so... This is where I'm going to be for a sort of a while. So I'm going to... It's kind of hard this to know where to place the stuff. I'm going to do it... I want it flat, you see. Can we do it flat? We've got snap mode of control. Sample building. Quick switch. We'll try it there. Hopefully that's flat enough. Hub foundation built. The hub okay. terminal and crafting bench are That's only not the bad. humble beginnings of a successful fix-it pioneer, but right. essential for the next steps of onboarding. Once finished, the hub will function as your base of operations. Next so this is where we're going to spend a lot of time. Hub upgrade one. Right, so hub upgrades are interested in this because hub upgrades are from the main area here and you have to do like milestones. So if we interact with this and we want to do tier... We want to do this one, hub upgrade one. So... To do that, I need to do, I need 10 iron rods. So we'll select that. I have no iron rods, but I have 34 iron. Now, if we come all the way out of that, interact with this and select iron rods. So to make iron rods, I need ingots. So a lot of this at the moment, you have to do manually and you just hold down on it. If you let go, it'll stop doing it. And you can't like do, you know, 10 or something but it tells you how many you can make up here so i'm just making the maximum amount and then i will stick them in the other thing so what i like about this game and i think it'll make a good series is it's like a, pro a progression style game so like the likes of planet craft and you know even medieval dynasty you start off with you know real noob and you can't really do anything and then the more and more you build the better it gets now the stumbling block i've got is the automation because i don't know what's good and what's bad when i'm building it so hopefully i'm gonna get some uh some good tips from you guys of you know what is actually good now i need to put 10 in there so i've dropped 10 from my 34 now we click this and this is where the magic happens so we'll click that and i've unlocked a chest I Hub think there is some stuff one. in that. Storage and frame completed. Equipment like the portable miner can Ooh, now be made in the nice. workshop. Nice. We can now make a miner. Congratulations on completing your first milestone. The first of many providing access so, to new recipes and I'm technologies. I'm probably to need more stuff. Mission. This Next comes with stuff though. I uh, oh no. It doesn't have anything in it. I can store stuff in it though. So that mysterious thing. I'm putting that in there. We'll put that in there. Because... I don't really need half this stuff. Wait a minute. I just thought, this stuff I'm collecting, can I eat any of it? Um, that does half a thing of health. Hatcher remains. It's for research. And, okay, so let's put... How do I equip that? No, no, no. If you right-click like that, that's, no, that's not what I want. Put it in my hands. 
Oh, there we go. So if I just chow down on these, this is getting me health back. It's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. Right, so I don't need this thing here because that's for DNA. And wood, we're probably going to need. Now, what I want to know is, can you do hot hot spots or for your weapons? Because it's going to be a pain switching these. I can't see a number thing. In equipment shortcuts. See, that says equipment shortcuts there. How do I... I don't know how I switch to that. Anyway, we need to uh, we need to learn crafting. So let us. What do we need to do? Press Q to open build menu, and we need to do a crafting bench. Now, can I? Oh, we're missing. We need we need some plates to make that. Or is it the equi Oh, it's the equipment workshop. We need this one. What do I need to make it though? I need six steel plates. Have I got those yet? Well, iron plates. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to um, mine a little bit more. I don't think we start off with any miners, no. So we need to manually do this. Let's do a little bit more digging. I mean, this this is like the the, the sort of not the slog, but it's, it does take a while to do this at the start. We do need lots of manual stuff. We'll try and get forty. Uh, no, we'll get fifty. Fifty is a nicer number. We're getting two at a time. Right. Come back over here. Okay, so we need iron ingots. So to make we need to make six plates. So it's three iron ingots is two of those, I think. Let's see. Let's make three of those and see if then that gives me Oh you know it gives me more. Oh this is useful. Right, so if I keep clicking this, I need six plates, so I can just look at that and go, right, I need six plates right there. And I want to make an equipment workshop, so I need six of those and 24 of those. Okay, we're still missing iron plates. Why have I not got enough iron plates? Oh, it's because I've not actually made them, have I? Silly shells. Wait a minute, I've not selected the recipe. There we go. Right, finally. Okay, now where do I place this? Because... I can like I can just stick it over here or I can stick it on that. Is it gonna be any harm sticking it over here out of the way a little bit? Don't think so. Okay, so this is where we're gonna make our little mining thing now. So I wanna make a miner. So I need iron plates again. Right, so let's just make we'll make a bit more of both of them. I do want to see what's up there as well. There's, there's a thing up there. I'm not got a clue what it is. Okay, so I need... I think it was like two iron plates. Let's make a few more of these little nuggies. Because I think I need me some iron rods again. I'm going to make 20 of these. And then I can show you the it's not automation it's it's semi-automatic at the moment it's going to be putting these drill things down so if i come over here now hopefully i should be able to make me two drills well i say drills the miners okay then you come over to where the resources look at that penguin thing hanging around uh, and i'm gonna i'm just gonna stick it on here so press q Where's, where's it? Is it in the inventory? Oh, it's in the inventory. Okay, now these are cool because not only are they animated to make beepity boopity noises, they, they're, they're sort of just, they get on with it. So I'm going to put one there. I love that sound. I'm sure that's a window sound. Now, didn't I have two? I've got two over there, but I don't think I need, I don't think I need two of them to, uh, to be mined. Okay, so we're making that now. So what else do I need to do? Complete hub upgrade number two. Now these only store X amount of stuff, but as you can see now, these are uh, these are producing. 
They can only make so much though, but it means I can just go in it like this and just grab a load. Oh, I don't like the way that's uneven down there to get to the mines. That's slightly annoying. Okay, um, let's see what we need for the next stage. So we want for the next stage, hub upgrade two, 20 of those, 10 of those. Okay, how many have I got? I've got 32 of those. And I have I have none of those. How many was it again? Right. I'm, I'm clicking too excited. Right, we need 10 plates. So let's just make a load of ingots. And we need 20 plates. So we just got to keep on trucking. It doesn't take that long to do. It just feels forever when you're recording and trying to do it quickly. But this is just going to be the basic setup of the base to see see how we can get it all, you know, set up looking okay. Okay, let's do this now. I should be able to stick all this stuff in here. So I think you can right click splits into a stack or you can just drag it over. So let's drag that over there. And where's my plates? I've done it again. I keep forgetting that that doesn't mean you've got 20. That means you can make 20. But it's these rookie mistakes that, that make you grow in life. Uh, yeah, I hope. Okay, so we're going to put this in here now. Oh, I need 10. I complete. I, I obviously can't count. This is going to be an excellent series. Okay, we're going to upgrade it again. You can see it's slowly getting bigger. Look. Hub upgrade two. <laughs> the smelter can turn raw ore such as copper and iron no. into ingots, and the biomass burner generates power. That's the biomass healed. burner. Fun fact: most of the native flora and fauna is compatible with Fixit technology. Fueling okay. the biomass burner gonna, with inappropriate let me, materials. Let me check me drills. Or even cancellation of your yearly bonus. Okay, so Next what's this? Complete hub upgrade I reckon free. it's 90 to a, a stack. Let's just watch this a second. I reckon once we get to a well, hundred to a stack to a, a drill, I think it's gonna be. So we're gonna get to this. There you go, it's full. And that's full as well. Empty them out, and you're ready to go again. Although it does mean I need to do this. Which, yeah, you can see now this is getting a little bit slower at doing it. So, uh, we're going to do upgrade three now. Um, I want to see if we've got anything that's going to help me. Because we ideally need a smelter now. And I'm hoping I can make a smelter. Let's see. I can do a smelter. Right. We do need... A new material out we need this it's a uh, copper let's have a little, little look at the codex I've not actually looked in the codex yet uh, where is the codex is it in here it has got a funky codex I literally can't remember how you get into it um, it's not that so that's the scan hmm anyway we need we need copper anyway let me, let me just have a quick little ping and see where it's at. Does that say there's copper 30, 30 meters away? Wait a minute. No, that's, that's iron. <laughs> yeah, I thought, I thought I was in luck then. Um, where is the nearest amount of copper? Oh boy, 102 meters away. Right, so what I'm basically going to have to do is I'm going to have to make enough stuff to make two, well, at least one drill or take one drill with me. But I could make plenty of these ingots though. Let's just make a load of rods. Can't remember exactly how many rods it is for a miner, but I'm going to say 50. So we'll get 50 rods. Actually, we'll look at the recipe. Let me have a quick little look in here. So 
Oh, it's only four. Right, it's it's the plates really that take more. But I mean, I have got enough. I could make a load of these. I'm going to make two for now, again, to match this. Actually, we'll, we'll make three because it's quite a way away, this new one. Okay, right, we're going to bing up the ping again. And we're going, I guess we're going that way, 127 meters away. Which, as you see me run before, it's 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 not really that far. So you look, we're here, we're here, okay. We're here, and look what else is here. Let's uh, charge right in, into battle. I don't know if that's the most effective way of doing it, but that's the way we're doing it. Anyway, let's get the old uh, miners down. So put that in my hands. Nice. Let's uh, see if I can get my health back. Another evil thing there. More copper there. I'm going to start collecting a lot of plant matter as well. Oh, there's the water, look. So I'm not that far from the water. Cool. I don't know what use the water is. I don't know if it's going to use some sort of uh, hydro system, like water power maybe, or we can grow something. Who knows? Anyway, I'm not going near that pod again. There is some food over there if I want it. There we go. Means I can have a little, little eat. Collected. Yes. Eating it and surviving does not count as a valid field test and does not generate enough data for fix it to make there a we go. decision. We're eating it. Store this potential resource for later oh, use. it wants me to scan it. That's boring. Anyway, let us grab stuff from these. Did I grab that one? But it's such a beautiful game. This. I mean, on my. My PC as well, it's it's a good few years old since I upgraded and this is pretty solid, solid frame rate. Now I am collecting all of that because I need it and I'll show you why in a second. Okay, these have all stopped again. I'm going to grab a little bit, not too much. Right, we should now be able to do copper ingots. So likewise with the other stuff, you do it like this. I don't know how much wire I need for the next tier, so I'm getting 20. Uh, we're actually, it's a smelter we're interested in making though. So we've got power, we can do power lines, and we can do smelter. So what I've got to think of now, right at the start of this game is, I need to automate this stuff. So what I need to do is I need to take the stuff that's in there into a smelter and turn it into stuff so this is where i keep going wrong oh we've not actually got the copper wire yet we need we need eight copper wire so i'm gonna make i'm gonna make 16 so i can make at least two smelters for the two types of resources okay now let's try it now you have to connect these up to power as well I might try and do it. Let's see. How do we do power? Um, I don't think I've got any power bits. We can do power lines. What? 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 What's a power? A power line? It is copper wire. Let's see if we can do one manually. I'm just going to stick it flat next to this. So you've got in and out. Green is out. Red is in. So it's going to be coming. It's going to be coming from these. I'm not too sure how I, I automate it with the... Because we're, we're going to put down in a second... Uh, conveyor belts. Let's see. Can we, can we do anything for it? So I can say to this, right, you make iron ingots. And then I can drop a stack of stuff into it. As you can see, it's not got power though. Right, so we need to give it some power. Now, the only power options we've got at the moment is from burning stuff on the back here. Biomass generator. So, what I need to do is I need to make a few more of these copper things. Make some wires, first of all. Okay. 
And then we are going to then turn these copper wires into cable. And then you hook the cable up to the thing. I told you this was a process. Okay. So let's try and hook all this up now. So I want to connect that to that. So go to inventory, go to cable, stick it in me. Do I not stick it in my hand? Oh, it's two. It's a shortcut. Right. So if I click there, I want to go from there to there. Okay. And that should work. But we need to do power. And this is the biomass burner. Now, this is where it gets a little bit what's the best. So I can burn wood. That, that's got 100 millijoules value. Or I could burn leaves, which is 15. Um, should I? Let's, let's chuck some wood in. Okay, so that's one piece of wood. Tw well, one, one wood, 12 a minute. But you should be able to see now this. This should be doing stuff, look. So that's making one iron ingot a minute. So that's going to, you know, that's going to automate that for me. But I do need to get a resource. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look on here now. And we'll look at the next upgrade. It's going to give me all that stuff. It's going to give me a constructor. It's going to give me a power pole, concrete, screws, plate. And we can scan for limestone. So I think, let me see, how much copper wire have I got here? Have I got enough to build another smelter? I need eight, eight wire. And I have no wire. I want to get the basics of... You know, the basics of both smelters up and running. That's what, that's what we need. So we're just going to crank this up to like 20. And then we can make wire... I think I think it was something we needed like eight so I'm just gonna make 20 yeah we've got enough for a smelter and I think we've got enough for the wire because we've got 13 of those perfect right now the only thing is it's a bit hard remembering where your stuff is because I know that's there but the other stuff is further away now you can keep tapping that up and topping it up so i'm going to take them out i've got 50 out of that that time right i can just about see me stuff so we need to remember it's sort of north we northwest of the base is where this is as you can see this is all coppered out so we are gonna oh no 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 we're gonna grab all grab all and grab all okay so we need to set up a smelter. Now I am going to hook over there at some point. So I might try and do me smelter pointing this way. Like so. Okay, and this is going to do copper ingots. And I'm going to throw in a full stack like that. Now the power is going to be funny now because that needs to go over to this now I don't know if this will stretch this far interesting so it says wire is too long no empty power line connector so I must have to build some techers I have not got yet which which is fine uh, I want to keep you topped up so ideally we need to get the next tech tier now so and the next tech tier is home upgrade three 20 wire 20 that 20 of that i think i've probably got enough to you know do some of that now so what was it 20 of these i've already got those fine i need 20 plates so if we quickly was a few of these out okay top up my iron rods and was it 20 wire we needed i think you can do this and do select it select it so you can see it oh excuse me space dust right so we're going to put these in now and this next this next one what's it going to give us um we'll upgrade it 
New scannable resources. Oh yeah, we can scan for a limestone now. The constructor can produce simple parts and power poles along oh, the expansion of the power grid. We've got, we've got a little. The inevitable mistake. Oh, look at all this. Dismantling feature is designed to salvage all resources I've got a bed. during construction. Oh, that is along sweet. With our zero waste policy. We understand that fixit pioneers are only human and thus prone to error. Next okay. objective: complete hub upgrade four. So we can do power poles now, and that is going to help me do the other stuff right you can also look at all this so this is pretty cool so you've got like presets for all the uh the outfits i can't i, I kind of like that i've got little trinkets as well oh is that, is that for your key ring i like that that is some good look you can change your gun you can change what is that <laughs> is that really so big when I <laughs> no Let's... I can't can I do an exterior an exterior view let me see uh, key bindings can we go into third person view ooh I don't know if we can there's photo mode it might be in that one let's see let's resume no I don't know if you can. Let me know if you can. I want to see my big head in game. Anyway, that is it for now. This is Satisfactory 1.0. Um, well, I do think this will make a good series. So if you do want to see more of this, make it a series. Comment and let me know and we will play some more. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Shirley Rocks. My base sucks, but this does look beautiful. I have cupboards. I've even got... Oh, yeah. I've got a toilet. What? The toilet. Oh, it's so clever. This is going to be for getting rid of stuff, isn't it? Look, I can, I can put, can I, can I put it in? Now, if I can flush it, that'll be a dream. Oh, maybe it's not that then. I really wanted to flush that down the toilet. Transfer stacks. Okay. Can we, did it, did it flush? No, it's not flushing. Anyway, I'm definitely going. See you next time.